Rance. Yes, we are going to try to match that cuteness and match that energy today on the Beauty Breakdown. I have professional makeup artist Carrie Wilson, who is breaking down how to build a base for a flawless face. Carrie, That's thanks right. for joining us again today. Thank you for having me. So it all starts with the right moisturizer and eye cream. You've got to make sure that your skin is, skin is prepped and primed, which I know yours is. And then where do we start? The most important part exactly. under the eye, right? Under your eyes, yeah. So, I mean, obviously the base of your found, your whole makeup look is mm -hmm. your foundation and your concealer. And again, you guys know I love you on River City Live if I am rolling into the top of this show with nothing on my face. So but look this at this beautiful skin. Oh, so right now I'm using a brightener where you have a little bit of darkness on the inner corner of the eye and it's gonna immediately brighten you up. It's something that a lot of people skip and they go straight to concealer, but you don't get the coverage you need from a concealer sometimes. So sometimes we need to do a two-step process. Oh, I don't think I knew that they were different. So brightness versus concealer, okay. So a brightener is more like a corrector and it's gonna correct and sort of neutralize and then your concealer is going to lift and give you that nice pop of brightness so you look like you slept really, really well last okay. night and, and didn't get up at 3 a.m. Oh, perfect. I was like, <laughs> nah, I didn't sleep well last night. So fake it. <laughs> if you don't have time to do anything else, the under eye area is where you need to start. It does more for you than anything else in, in the whole entire makeup routine, all right? So sure, Lynn- You look like I slept more? Yeah, you do, you look nice and bright. So let's talk about skin. So you want a foundation that's gonna give you coverage and that's the right color, but you also want it to give you a, just a bit of glow so it looks like skin and not like makeup. Yeah. So it's really important that you're not using something that's overly matte or overly hydrating. You want something that balances your skin and that's where that moisturizer and that marriage of that foundation come in together. Um, and then you'll notice right now when I'm putting on your foundation, it's really important that you meet it up to the concealer, mm -hmm. but you don't go over it. That's the big thing. And you don't need to put foundation everywhere. You're going to put it in this upside down triangle where you need it, where you have some redness, maybe broken capillaries around the nose, and then just kind of blend downward. Okay, so less and, is more. And Carrie, and Carrie, we always talk about this, the big brush debate. What kind of brush should we be using? So this is a foundation brush. I would recommend either clean fingertips or a foundation brush. You know I'm not a huge fan of sponges because what it does is it soaks up a lot of those important emollient ingredients that make our skin glow. It wastes a lot of makeup and they harbor a ton of bacteria. So I just suggest something that you can clean easy like a brush or if you love using your fingers, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that either. Can I say, I think you have the softest brushes ever. Oh. This is how I know that I have bad crusty brushes is because I'm like, <laughs> oh, these don't hurt at it's, all. So really, that, that's a good point though. If you have too much product that's in mm -hmm. that brush that's been there for a long time, your product's not going to apply the way that you really yeah. want it to. Don't worry, I'll link the brush cleaning below. Um, <laughs> she's done that with us before. And then, so powder is important, especially when we're on mm -hmm. TV, right? But also, for people who want a nice glow to the skin, you can leave the cheek glowing, but you really wanna focus on what I call the upper T and the lower T, okay? So that's gonna be just a nice powder to give you a little bit more coverage, but we don't wanna over powder because again, we don't wanna make our skin look dry. It can make us look a little bit older than we are and we don't want that. We wanna look nice and youthful. Absolutely not, 27 or I'm out of here. That's right. <laughs> then how about your favorite? Okay, yeah. Bronzing powder. Perfect. Lift me up before the commercial break, perfect. A little bit of cheekbone, a little bit of forehead, nose, and chin, and always hit under the chin and the neck. Perfect. All right, Carrie, before we go to break, can you just tell everybody where is the best place to find you while I check myself out in the monitor? <laughs> oh, yeah. So CarrieWilsonMakeup.com, Instagram is CW Makeup, and on Facebook, it's Carrie Wilson Makeup as well. Okay, fantastic. If you want to let me know what you would like Carrie to break down for us next time on The Beauty Breakdown, let me know on RiverCityLiveTV.com or on our Facebook page. We're going to go for a quick break, and we'll be back with a lot more right after this.